Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If using QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2020 or later, you can use the Payment Reminders feature to email automated payment reminders for customer invoices that are due or overdue. By default, the Payment Reminders feature is enabled in the Company Files preferences and it sends payment reminders at 10 a.m. if QuickBooks is open. Otherwise, it sends them the next time you open the Company File. To disable this preference or change its default reminder time, select Edit Preferences from the menu bar. Then click the Payments icon at the left side of the Preferences window and click the Company Preferences tab to the right. In the Payment Reminders section on this tab, you can select the No option for the Do You Want to Send Payment Reminders question to disable Payment Reminders if desired. If enabled, to select the default time to prompt you to send them, select a time from the If QuickBooks Desktop is Open, Prompt Me At dropdown. To set the reminder frequency, select an option button choice for Daily, Weekly, or Monthly below the dropdown. If selecting Weekly, or monthly, then select the day or enter the date into the field that appears. To disable payment reminder prompts if desired, uncheck the checkbox to the left of the If QuickBooks Desktop is Open Prompt Me At dropdown. Also, check the options you have enabled for sending forms via email by clicking the Send Forms icon at the left side of the Preferences window. Ensure you have correctly configured your email client on the My Preferences tab in the Send Email Using section. After setting your desired payment reminder and email preferences, then click the OK button in this window to apply them. Next, to schedule the payment reminders and create the associated customer groups, select Customers, Payment Reminders, Schedule Payment Reminders from the menu bar. Then click the Let's Get Started button in the Schedule Payment Reminders window that opens. In the next window, a new blank invoice reminder schedule appears. To set the schedule's name, click the New Schedule hyperlink to open the Edit Schedule Name dialog box, type the schedule's name, and then click the OK button. Then use the Send Reminder To drop-down for the new schedule to select the customer group, which is a set of customers to remind. Note that these were called mailing lists in QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2020. To create a customer group, click the Add New Choice in the drop-down menu to open the Create Customer Group window. Type a name for the customer group into the Name field. Optionally, enter a description into the Description field. Then click the Next button to continue. For QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2021, you can then optionally filter your customers to add to the group by selecting a field from the Field drop-down, selecting a Comparison Operator from the Operator drop-down, and then selecting or typing a Comparison Value into the Value field. Then click the Add button to add it to the list below. To clear a filter, click the X button to the right of the filter in the list, or click the Clear All link above the list to clear them all if desired. Note that if you click the Next button without choosing a filter, then click the Yes button that appears to proceed and show all customers in a list from which you can manually select them. Otherwise, only customers that match the filter or filters you select will appear when you click the Next button. To select or deselect all the customers, click the checkbox at the top of the leftmost column of checkboxes. Otherwise, check the checkbox to the left of the name of the individual customer to select or deselect them. Then click the Finish button to return to the schedule. Then click OK in the message that appears. Next, click the Add Reminder button for the schedule to set when to remind the selected customers in the Add Reminder window that appears. 
type the number of days before or after the customer's due date to send the payment reminder into the Enter field at the top of this window. Then use the adjacent drop-down to select either before or after the due date. Then type the email's subject and body into the associated fields or edit the existing content. If needed to add a data field at your current insertion point in either field, click the Insert Field button and then select the field's name. When finished, to check your spelling, click the Check Spelling button. To continue, click the OK button. You can add another reminder for the selected schedule, up to five per schedule, by clicking the Add Reminder button and repeating the process. To disable the schedule, click the Toggle Switch button to the left of its name to turn it on or off. To delete the schedule, click the Delete Schedule button, which looks like a trash can icon, at the right end of the schedule, and then click Yes in the confirmation warning message box that appears. To create a new schedule, up to five total, click the New Schedule button in the upper right corner of the window. Then select either Invoice or Statement from the drop-down to select for which types of forms to create payment reminders. Then repeat the previous steps to create the new payment reminder. When finished using the Schedule Payment Reminders window, click the Save button in it to save the payment reminders and close it. In the next window which appears after the first time you configure payment reminders, you can click the Let's Do It button to review and send your first reminders in the Send Reminders window that opens. Alternatively, to manually open this window, select Customers, Payment Reminders, Review and Send Payment Reminders from the menu bar. At the left side of the window, the reminders to send are checked. You can click a row in this area to preview the specific email in the area to the right. You can then make editing changes within the fields to the right for the selected email if needed. You can click the check boxes to the left of the invoices to toggle the invoice payment reminder selections on or off. You can also click the checkbox at the top of the column of checkboxes to toggle all invoice payment reminder checkbox selections on or off. To permanently remove checked invoices from this reminder schedule if desired, ensure they are checked, and then click the Remove button below the invoice list. Then click the Remove Email button in the confirmation warning message box that appears. Alternatively, to only delay sending an invoice payment reminder instead without removing it, uncheck the Invoice Reminders checkbox to deselect it before clicking the Send Now button. To send reminders for the selected invoices, ensure the checkboxes are checked for the desired invoice payment reminders. Then click the Send Now button in the lower right corner to send reminders for the selected customer invoices. Note that this is the same window that will appear when you need to send payment reminders to customers in the future. You can click the Close button to close this window if necessary. After sending payment reminders, the reminders appear in the invoices See History link and also appear within the Customer's Sent Email tab for the customer's record in the Customer Center. To edit the payment reminder schedules in the future, just select Customers, Payment Reminders, Schedule Payment Reminders from the menu bar again to reopen the Schedule Payment Reminders window. Make any changes you want, and then click the Save button again. To edit or delete the customer groups you have created in QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2021 or later, select Customers, Payment Reminders, Manage Customer Groups from the menu bar to open the Manage Groups window. Then use the Actions drop-down to the right of any customer group you created to select the Edit, Delete, or Email command as desired. 
If you select the Edit command, then click Yes in the confirmation message box to open the Edit Customer Group window, where you can select and or filter the customers to add to the group, just as when you initially added them. If you select the Delete command, you must then click the Yes button in the confirmation warning message box that appears to delete the selected group. If you select the Email command, then you open a Send Forms window for the selected customers who appear at the left side of the window, just like when sending payment reminders. You can enter your email information into the From, Subject, and Body fields to the right. You can also use the Attach field to add an optional attachment if needed. Then click the Send Now button to send the email to the selected customers. To create a new customer group in the window, click the Create Customer Group button in its upper right corner, and then create the customer group in the Create Customer Group window, just as you did before. To close the Manage Groups window, click the Close button in its upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.